Is your prepping deadline coming to an end? Is your prepping deadline really fast approaching? It's hit it here, folks. It's coming on January 4th with all these different mandates that they want to implement all across this country. And what does it mean for you? Well, if it affects the trucking industry, it means there's going to be even more shortages in the stores. It means that products are not going to be available. It means that you are not going to be able to prep and be ready for what comes after that. Now, we all know that the whole situation with this mandate on January 4th is getting all types of news and everything else. And the biggest thing that you really need to take back from what is going on is you need to be prepped and ready. You need to be out there. You need to be going to the stores and try and put away as much as you possibly can. Everything from your daily use products, your pet products. I know my sister-in-law lives in Long Island and she can't get cat food. It's not available in the stores. Down here in Florida, there's a shortage of cat food, some dog foods. They're just not on the shelves. A lot of this stuff just isn't making it here. A lot of these companies don't have the truck drivers to move the amount of freight they need to move and all the different goods to get it to the stores, whether it be grocery stores, furniture stores, electronic stores, anything. The shortages are real, folks, and you need to be ready because if this thing really goes through and they can't stop this mandate on January 4th, things are going to get ugly. Things are going to go south really, really quick. And we're not even talking about what could possibly be coming once they start passing all these trillion dollar bills and, you know, all that goes into effect, what it's going to do to our economy and where that's going to put us in that boat. Prices and inflation are your number one key things that are against you right now on top of all the shortages and the lack of people to move the products. They could unload every ship out there in California right now. And what good would that do? Because they don't have the means to move the goods. We're still stuck at number one. We haven't come up with a plan yet, or we don't have the ability to distribute thousands and thousands of containers that are out there. It's just not possible. It's going to take a very long time to get the stockpiles in the stores, on the shelves, and everything else back to where it was post Charlie Victor 19. I don't think that's even going to be possible if we're lucky until 2023, being if there is no more interruptions or major disasters or anything of that type of nature. I wanted to bring you a quick video today. Today is Wednesday. It's hump day. Happy hump day, everybody. I hope you're all having a great day. But the whole point of this is you have to start preparing now before it is literally too late. Unfortunately, folks, this is the sign of the times that we live in. This is the card that we have been dealt. Maybe not by our choice, but we have to figure out a way to make sure that we can thrive and survive and make it to the end and make it so that we will be prepped and ready. Because unfortunately, we're along for the ride, folks. As much as we all hate it, hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it really doesn't matter what we think anymore. It's what they think. They are in control. They control everything from what we're getting, what we're buying, 
what it's costing us, and how it affects us on a daily basis. So do yourself a favor and your family. Get out there. Start prepping. Go through your stockpile. See what you have. See what you need. See what you use the most of and try to accomplish putting up all those different products to avert the whole January 4th, 2022. That will be like what happened in December 31st of 1999 when everybody thought that everything was going to shut down with computers and everything. Well, this could be much worse. This could be affecting everybody and all the goods that they need to survive on a daily basis. So you all keep prepping. Thrive to Survive. I am Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And I will catch all of you on the flip side. Thank you.